Morning guys. Normally around this time, I would love to enjoy a bang right now, but I have a doctor's appointment this morning, so I'm probably gonna get some blood work done, and so I want to be fasted. So I figured, since I cannot have bang in anything that brings joy to my life, I might as well test my ketones and my blood glucose so I can get a baseline for today. So I thought I would show you guys how I do that. I use this machine right here called the Keto Mojo. It is a ketone and blood glucose monitor. I think that if it's in your budget, this is a great tool to have. To be honest, I bought this, I bought like 50, ketone strips and 50 glucose strips and it was like 150 bucks like not cheap at all but definitely an investment and definitely something that you can use over time so still think it's worth it once again you don't have to have this at all you don't ever have to test your ketones or glucose at all as long as you're eating under 20 grams of carbs you're doing it right but i'm just gonna test to see where i am today first thing you gotta do Get your finger ready. You gotta massage it. You gotta get the blood flowing. <sighs> Not the most interesting thing to do. Okay, I like to test on my middle finger. The next thing you do is you take your little lance machine, AKA your needle puncher, and you just pull the little thingy back to set the needle on the spring. And then I like to go in with the side on the side of my finger, you don't want to go, for some reason, you don't want to go in the dead middle. They say you want to go on the side. So I'm going to give myself a little sticky. Oh yeah, see, barely even feel it, doesn't matter. It's going to produce a little blood spot. And then you wipe off the first spot immediately. I guess that's just like, I don't know why, you just wipe it off. And then, if you're blood squeamish, look away. But then you just get a little, you get a little pokey. And that's about all you need there. So I am going to, I'm gonna take my ketone strip. I'm going to put it in the monitor. It's gonna light up and be like, I'm almost ready. There you go. And there you go. And now I'm going to take There you go. Let's see where we at. Anything over 0.5 is ketosis. Whoa, 0.8, we have a winner. So my ketones are 0.8, I'm very okay with that. I actually ate a little bit later than I normally do. So uh, yesterday, so um, my ketones might be a little lower than normal, but as you can see, 0.8 still in nutritional ketosis and I'm here for it. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing for the blood glucose, exact same thing. Pull my puncher, I stick my finger on the other side, get the first little droplet, wipe it off. Okay, now we have the glucose strip, which is a little different than the ketone strip. I mean, it looks different, but the functionality is exactly the same. Glucose, ready to go. All right. 71, oh, that is a beauty. I love that. So I normally do have low blood sugar in the morning and I absolutely am a, just so proud of that. I don't, it's not like I do anything in particular except eat keto. So now that I have my ketones of 0.8 and my blood glucose of 71, I can calculate my GKI, my glucose ketone index. So I'm gonna take my calculator and I'm gonna do your blood glucose so we get 71, and then you divide by 18, just cause, read about it if you wanna know why. And then you divide by your ketone, which is 0.8, and that gives me 4.93. I love that number, I love to be anywhere under six. So, zero to three means you're in super deep ketosis, like medical necessity ketosis. Three to six means you're in moderate ketosis, meaning you're just eating low carb, which is awesome. I love it. Six to nine is like low ketosis, and then anything over nine is generally not ketosis. 
and you'll get those numbers because your ketone number will be really low or your blood sugar will be really high, which will cause those numbers to be high. In general, the lower the better. So like I said, I like to be under six, so 4.93 is okay with me. Nailed it. So hopefully that was a little bit more interesting than me drinking a bang. To be honest, I would rather be drinking a bang, but you know, I figured I'd impart some knowledge in the meantime. Um, so my doctor's appointment is at 9.45, so I will definitely be hungry after that. So we're gonna see what happens afterwards. Okay guys, I am back from the doctor and I'm actually starving. Like I'm gonna waste away, and I'm gonna collapse, my blood sugar's too low. Like I'm so hungry right now. So I am going to eat. I have already put my salmon in the microwave for about a minute, but now I'm going to add on some of my chipotle mayo. I'm gonna put it back on there and then put it back in the microwave for a little bit. And I'm also gonna slice up a little piece of this jalapeno and put it on there as well. I've already gotten my green beans out of the microwave and I'm just gonna put some butter on those and have that as my meal. Okay guys, so I have my Salmon with the mayo. I have my green beans with the butter there. Like, oh my gosh. I'm very excited about these buttery green beans. But I'm also very excited about this spicy AF salmon that I'm about to have. Like, y'all know I like it hot, but even I was like, whoa, <laughs> this is spicy. So let's take a bite. Still salmony, still delicious, but just with, you know, tangy and spice. And now I'm gonna have some beans. Literal perfection. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna have the blondies and I'll come back and show you what those look like. Okay guys, I'm back and it is blondie time. These are the little blondie bars that I made yesterday using the goodies bake mix. I am very excited to try them. I'm going to take a bite now and then see if I might wanna put them in the microwave for a few seconds, so let's see. Whoa, I really like those the way they are. I don't want to heat them up. They are very blondie like very buttery and and chewy. This is delicious. So I'm having two and then I'm getting back to work. Okay guys, I've decided to have snack time a little early. So I am going to get into this Atkins wafer protein wafer crisps. Last week I had the peanut butter and it was really good. This week I have the chocolate mint. Let's see what it's talking about. Look at those layers. Just like a thin mint. Whoa. And I have this in the refrigerator so it's like chilled. Absolutely. Nailed it, snacks on point today. Randomly bought a pack of string cheese at the grocery store. Don't really know why. Maybe just in the mood for some screen, string cheese, so I'm gonna have two of those, and then dinner will be coming up here soon. Okay guys, it is a little later than usual. To be honest, I don't know if it was the string cheese. I always make bad choices, but my stomach's been hurting for the past couple of hours, and I'm not really that hungry, so for dinner, I had planned on hot dogs and tuna fish, but hot dogs really don't sound appealing to me right now, so, I'm just gonna make some tuna fish. So I got the tuna, I got onion, I have mayo, mustard, and relish. All right, in my bowl I have about 90 grams of dry tuna, already pre squoze to get all the juice out. Hashtag team no soggy tuna. 30 grams of relish, 20 grams of my onion mixture. And this is just onions and jalapenos. Tablespoon of mayo and a liberal amount of plain yellow mustard. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of salt, dash of pepper. All right, give this a taste. Just simple and delicious, can't go wrong. For dessert, I got the usual suspects. I got my Jello, I got my Zevia. So I'm just gonna eat all this and probably have some water. I did really good on water today. I had like 40 ounces. What? <laughs> so I'm probably gonna drink some more water and then I'll just call it a night. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. You can also find me on Instagram at Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, and monthly weigh-ins. Thanks and I'll catch you next week.